Hello and welcome back to Beltmatic. And in, in the past episodes we've been creating these make anything machines that have been producing three full belts of any given number. Uh, this next episode or two I'm going to work on creating a machine that will produce 12 full belts of any given number. So that means we'll be producing roughly 15,000 uh, of any given number in roughly two minutes. So we should be able to upgrade our stuff pretty quickly from that point. We will... It's going to take up a huge amount of space. Like this is producing three full belts right now. So we're going to make 12 full belts. So it's going to be quite a machine. So we're going to do that way up here. And produce... We'll, we'll get to work on that in a minute. We're going to first check our upgrades. We're producing these 9395 here and it's not doing anything. We need these, we are producing these two numbers. So let's produce 2,411 real quick to get this up to nine per second. The 9395 is I think being produced down here. Yes, so we can just turn this into 2411. Let's cut the flow off. And let's see, the bottom two need to be 11, or one. So these two need to be ones. We're gonna try to come up with a slightly better system for the 12 full belts so that we're not crisscrossing belts like this. I have some ideas for it. And then this one needs to be ones as well. So we'll see how it turns out. Alright, so this machine will take up basically all these belts and all these belts. So these top six and these six on the left will all be coming in as one number. So we are going to basically use this chunk of numbers down here. We're probably going to have to delete our machine over here. And use these just to pull numbers up to the machine up here and try to keep the machine nice and organized up here. So this will be our We'll start with working on our tens, I guess, and then we will work on copying stuff up because we need to grab, let's just grab some of this stuff here. All right, so first we're going to need 12 full belts of tens. So and we're going to have to do this setup a ridiculous amount of times, at least five or six, but Let's walk you through one and then I will just copy and paste it and drag a whole bunch of belts in between. So this will be 12 belts of 10s. We can just grab this 7 and a 3. So I think what we can do is we're going to maximize. Next what we need to start doing is working on this upgrade right here because I only can pull 10 belts out of a number and I need 12. So let's take a quick break and do 76,384. We are currently making 15,919 that we're not using. So let's find where we're making that one at and make it 76,384. We're currently making 50,420 here for the subtractor. We have nearly 500,000, so half a million 50,000s. So I think we can stop making those now. I will continue working on that. I am delivering 76,384 now. I'll continue working on that upgrade as we go, knowing that we'll have it done hopefully by the time this machine is ready to go. But for now, we won't, will not be able to pull 12 full belts out of here, even though I'm going to set it up for it. So we got to pull 12 full belts out of here. That's three. All right, let's go ahead and copy this. over to the three here and then we gotta run these up to here and make 10 or 12 full belts of and I've increased these to 12 machines per factory so that way we can make 12 per second instead of the 10 per second right now because these multipliers are I guess we're on the adders there are two per second so I guess that'll be fine we could actually get away with a lot less than this but we will 
when we get to the multipliers, they're only one per second, so. All right, we're gonna pull 12 full belts from this side. And then we'll do another 12 right below it and hook up to this other one here. All right, here's the setup for to create tens. We will need five sets of these, but we are going to make one set, just making one digit of the number, and then we will copy and paste it as needed. So this will be, we can bring in any two numbers down these two bottom rows that equal 10, so seven and three in this case, and it'll put out 12 full belts of tens. Let's go ahead and hook these up. Let's actually rotate this one. And then hopefully we can just grab these like this. That should be good there. We need 12 belts. So it's not gonna be 12 full belts right now. It's a nice little pattern there. But we will uh, eventually get there. We have 10 belts now, so we gotta start bringing 201,818 in, but I will hook that up in a second. That is sevens coming up, so that'll be our 12 full belts of 10. This is going to take up a huge amount of space. Probably somewhere here, this will be the exponent to get. So for a thousand, we'll need, I think, 10 to the third. So we'll bring in 12 belts of threes here. Next up, we'll need to make the thousands. So we'll need the exponential f factory for that. Let's go ahead and cut this out and let's line it up. Should be the exact same size almost as this. Looks like it's one belt. Oh, we got it reversed. I almost want the, I also want the mirrored version of this, I think. Uh, let's copy it up there and see. So I can go up here somewhere. Let's put it there for now. And then we can really just copy this whole setup Make sure we get it all lined up. Something like that. I'm not gonna hook them up yet until we make sure we got this how we want it. And realistically, it should just be like this. That looks nice. Let's go ahead and copy these in. Oh gosh, I hope I have that hooked up to the right spot. I do not. That's unfortunate. These needs reversed. The 10 needs to be in the A. All right, that's better. We just switched around these two belts. We now need to bring threes in. Threes we're gonna have to grab from. I'm gonna try to keep it somewhere directly under here. So there's a three all the way down here. We can grab this one. It's kind of far down, but. So let's get these belts up there. Okay, that's the threes coming up. That'll fill up the system. This is Next up, we will add the adding machine in. I guess this is the multiplier, actually. I 
Let's see how many we have of these. This is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It needs to work at one per second, so I want to go up to 12 per second. So we are going to copy two of these. Something similar to what's down below, with the exception of this will need numbers one through nine. So I'm going to line up one through nine in this area here. And we'll just have a solid row of belts coming down, feeding into the factory. So I will just hook up one number at a time and it'll create the number we're looking for. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and can pretty much copy this setup. We'll have to change these top belts, but this will at least get us started. Make sure we keep it lined up. That is not what we wanted. Wish there was an undo button. Wonder if there is. Nope. Uh, looks like it worked. So that'll f fill in our things, but then we're going to have to. We are going to have to redo this section of it because all the numbers are going to be coming from this other direction. They are not going to be coming from this direction. This will be our multipliers here. Got 12 rows of them. These will be our... We'll set up some system over here, down this corner here, to input 1, or I guess 0 through 9 onto this belt. And this will multiply it by our 1000s. So we can really just copy this up one more time because we will need something above this to add the add the results together. that and then I will just alt modify this a little bit to line up with this. Alright, so this will be we'll need an adding machine up here so this will add up this whatever result this is, this 9000 will add it to whatever's coming from this direction. So this is the last step in this column. It'll be the adding, which will add our add our numbers together. So similar to this row over here, this is adding up all this combination of all these numbers. This will be doing the same, except it's much more organized now. Okay, now we have to set up some system over here that has 12 belts of 0 through 9. So let's start with the zero. The zero is going to be the most complicated one because we have to do some addition or subtraction. I guess it would really be subtraction in order to get the zeros. So we will probably just copy this setup here. Now let's see if we can take this, copy this here. Move it over here. Let's rotate this to like this. Grab this. Can't tell which way the belts are going. Looks like opposite of the way we want. And really it can just be put in here. Here is the zero factory. We can just cut this, move it as close to here as possible. Let's try to line it up so it looks nice. I think right there looks good actually. And then we will just grab this 
And we just need two of the same number. So we got eight and eight here. We could do that. Let's go ahead and do that. It's all the zeros. Twelve rows of them. We will bring them up to here. And then next up, we got to find, probably use this one right here, this two right here. I'll try to find them slightly in order so that they're not a big mess of belts. But we basically got to come up with some kind of entrance onto this belt here so that we can easily just delete it, like delete three rows here, and it'll dump zeros onto the belt. Same thing for ones and twos. I'll get it set up and show you. Here is the zero through nines. We will just leave this empty and that way we can just put the number on there that we want. We can just copy this down everywhere. Once we get it lined up. That will put, that way we can just attach whenever we want. We can just grab these belts here and attach them. If we want ones there, delete them, put these there. that will put zeros instead. Here is zero through nine. It's not too much belt spaghetti. It is, they're all brought up here as you can see. We just need to attach the rest of these. So that one and we hook it up it's ready all right so now all I have to do is put these three belts in down here and it'll bring up the number we need so that is the setup for 1000s I think I'll do 100s over here tens over here and then we'll do the flip side over here we'll do hundred thousands and millions if we need it. Um, so we're going to have to copy this several times, which I will work on over the next couple days in between episodes. And then we will get it all finalized next episode and hook it up and see if we can get 12 full belts of one number coming in. So that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.